Hello everyone, how are you doing today? In this video, I have an Acer laptop, Acer Aspire ES14, and the exact model, it's a long one, is an ES1-420-35 P6. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove your battery or replace your battery for these models. First thing first, you wanna flip over your laptop, and what do you wanna do here? You're gonna grab an opening tool, I mean, a screwdriver. I use an iFixit tool set. I use number Phillips number zero. And we're gonna remove all the screws. That are, there's about 16 screws. Once you remove them, I already went and removed everything. Phillips head number zero. Remove all the screws that you see here. Once everything removed, you just wanna slide out the caddy for the DVD ROM. It's an empty caddy. Once you got that in there, you want to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle or 35 degree angle, just like this. And then you want to grab your Sava opening tools. I use a guitar pick. And you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover. And then you want to just wiggle it around, just like that. And you want to go all around towards the sides. If you need to do the back end, go ahead and do it. But it's not necessary, just do the sides and the front. Once you got it in this position, you don't want to open it any no more because if you open it more, you're just going to pull out this ribbon cable from the board. What you want to do, you want to stick your finger right at the back where the black hinge is and you just want to lift it up 90 degrees and then slide backward the flex cable. For the flex cable for the keyboard, you want to grab the side triggers and you just want to push it towards the back end of the laptop just like that just a little bit do the same thing for the other side this white one just let me see if you guys can see it slide it backwards there this is a small portion so there you go you slide back the flex cable open up the laptop and then wiggle it around and then you might have here some popping at the back those are the clips at the back end they are right over here one two three four five six seven once you remove that down here you're gonna see the battery right at the back end i don't know why they made it like this they could have easily put a contact here to remove the battery from the other side All right to remove the battery first thing we need to disconnect it so pull out this jack backward towards the screen untangle the cable and then to lift it up there's a tiny hinges right here you need to pull these hinges backward so there's one right there one right there oh, i didn't have to do the two ones over here so there's one two three four once you remove this one i guess this one just comes out if it doesn't just pull these triggers backward and there's your battery this one it comes with a one, two, three, four cell battery. And the exact model for this one is an AL15A32. So that's a, it's a 14.8 volt, 2350 milliamp hours battery. Again, the model is an AL15A32. Once you got the new one in, all you need to do is just pull it right over. Push it down and sure you hear those clicks. Just like that. Make sure at the back you have to hear the there's a clicks at uh, clips at the back, right there and right there. Make sure it goes all the way in. Once it's in there, just run the cable underneath this plastic tray right there. And then grab the connector evenly. You want to push it in and then pull it towards the motherboard. And the last step down here would be to grab the palm rest, put the back side first by the under the screen, align it right there. You want to grab the cable, open up the hinges for the keyboard flex, grab the flex cable, cable slide it right from the back end towards the contact, hold it with one finger with one hand, and with the other one, you just want to. It squeeze this one backwards the triggers pull the triggers towards the front end of the laptop that will hold the flex cable 
also the same one make sure this thing is facing upward put the ribbon cable from the back make sure it's evenly all the way in hold it and then close the lock all right next the easy fun part is to just grab the corners and just pinch them make sure you hear those clicks those are the clips all right if you see any opening just grab them and just pinch them And if it's not holding, don't worry about it because we, you see this one is already really loose. I put it and just pops back up. Don't worry, we're gonna put the screws in. So close it. You see any opening? I'm just gonna pinch it right there. And the last thing will be grab the bottom, the caddy for the DVD ROM, put it in, and then grab the screws, place it right where you took it on the bottom cover. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, it helped you guys out. And please click that thumbs up button. We really appreciate it and it helps and motivates me to make more videos and answer your comments Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video